SAIC is a systems integration and engineering uh, company that specializes in delivering information technology and technical services. We also have a strong culture of technology, engineering, science, and innovation. Our primary customer is the U.S. government. We deliver mission systems, communication systems, advanced IT delivery systems for customers all over the world. We support our armed forces, our federal civilian agencies, at SAIC, we have a need for a rapid development platform for creating differentiated solutions and offerings for our customers. Well, our R&D environment, we already had a pretty robust VMware-based deployment. So the first thing we added was vCloud Automation Center to give us that IT as a service capability, that multi-cloud management that we knew our customers really wanted, not just internal, but primarily external as well. So once we had vCloud Automation Center in place, we needed cloud service providers to manage through that platform. So vCloud Air was an obvious choice for us. Because of our own deployment of software-defined data center technologies in support of our research and development activities, we have seen reductions in configuration errors and improved consistency in the way we secure our IT environment. We've seen a dramatic reduction in the amount of time required to deliver infrastructure services to our developers, to our engineers, to our scientists who are working to build that next generation of solutions and offerings for our customers. Additionally, the ability to respond rapidly to requests that our customers give us is paramount to us being successful in the market. Without the flexibility of the platform, the speed to delivery of new services and capabilities provided by the integration features of the platform, we would pass, frankly, on a lot of opportunities in the market that we're now able to respond to. We're able to provide infrastructure to our engineering, our science, our development community within minutes. Software Defined Data Center provides us with a mechanism for tightly coupling the delivery of IT services with the underpinning infrastructure elements that make up those services. The management of the infrastructure from the infrastructure platform into the cloud and service delivery layers of the IT delivery framework allows us to respond to degradations in IT service performance effectively. So when you unify all these technologies together, and you combine them with the orchestration and automation capabilities that are delivered by Software Defined Data Center, you're able to create a cohesive, comprehensive IT service delivery framework that enables our customers to meet their missions in a cost-effective and efficient way and bring on new services and new features that their customers need rapidly and effectively. And for us, that's the end game of Software Defined Data Center. Looking a little further out on the horizon, we want to automate the stand-up and delivery of entire IT functions with the Software Defined Data Center stack. We want to deliver ERP as a service in minutes for a customer because we've predefined and automated all of that from the infrastructure all the way up through the configurations using the automation capabilities inherent in the platform and the service management capabilities inherent in the platform. We think our customers are going to be interested in the power of software-defined networking. We are starting to see our customers explore that space. So we are very interested, very excited to expand our own repertoire of offerings. We're also looking forward to software-defined storage and the virtualized storage configuration capability, delivering that control of the storage fabric from the cloud services management platform we can build some very interesting and very compelling solutions once that integration is fully created.